Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be telling you all of the new and improved changes in CMU the Wii U emulator version 1.12.1. Now, while there are quite a few changes, in this video I'm only going to be covering the ones that actually affect you, the player. Okay, so let's jump straight in and look at some of the more general changes. CMU itself has updated several of its libraries and now requires you to use Visual Studio's 2017. What this means is that instead of using a C++ redistributable 2015, CMU emulator will now require you to use the 2017 variant. An issue with the settings.xml file which tracks all of your games, game directories and time you have spent in game, the issue itself was that this file was corrupting when you had used it with multiple versions of CMU. This issue is now fixed. Both your games list icons and your graphics pack shader files now load asynchronously, meaning that CMU's startup time has been dramatically shortened. They have added a fallback font in the case where your shared fonts and shared data fonts are not found. This will stop games which require these fonts from crashing. Okay, let's quickly move on to some input related changes. First of all, we have seen some HID or human interface device changes. First of all, they have added support for the Skylanders portal. This addition has made Skylanders basically playable on the CMU emulator, though more testing of this game is going to be necessary. They have also taken the first step in GCN controller adapter support in CMU emulator. This controller adapter will allow you to use your GameCube controllers in supported Wii U titles on CMU emulator. Moving on to some input changes on the software side, they have fixed some X input issues for Steam Big Picture controllers. We are told that if you are having trouble configuring a controller, simply launch a game in CMU first. We have also seen various improvements to the native Wiimote support. Now, while I have already covered the most highly requested games on CMU emulator in my compatibility video, you can in fact find that video down in the description of this one. I'm just going to quickly cover exactly what games are now properly working in 1.12.1 that previously didn't work. Tokyo Mirage Sessions now fully works in CMU 1.12.1. Previously, this game was booting in-game in CMU 1.11.4, but as you can see, we have seen a drastic improvement in render quality. This game can now be considered playable. Splatoon can also now be once again played in offline mode and no longer requires you to dump your online files in order to boot into game. Do however be aware that in order to use any of the online functionality you will still need to dump your files. So that's about it for all of the new functions and features of CMU 1.12.1. As I previously said, I have already covered compatibility in some of the most requested games, you should check that video out if you want to see how your games are functioning. In the coming days I will be doing a separate game to game tests to see if we have either a performance increase or a performance reduction. If you have any specific games in mind let me know in the comments below and if I have access to that game I will try to test it. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. If you want to help support the channel and keep it growing, you can do so by supporting me over on my Patreon. You can find a link to that down in the description. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.